Good morning, TYB family. It is a beautiful day, and today we got some goodies for the GTR. I don't know how much of it we're gonna actually install today, but we got a few nice parts. I'm gonna show y'all what we got right now, and then we'll see what all we can put there on the car today. We also have a couple new goodies for Susie as well. And we have a decision on this car. Ooh, the goodies is popping out of the bag. I guess this is like a car update or shop update if uh, I was bigger, but uh, we're not. This bumper is also being sold. If you have a Mark V Supra, you're in Southern California and you wanna buy this bumper, you can. I'm gonna be taking my badges, my things off. Everything else will, will be like this. Under the wrap is um, already prepped, primered and everything. The black is already painted. So this bumper is good to go for the paint match or to rewrap. The only thing this needs is new fiberglass tabs. As you guys know, all the tabs, all those tabs, they all ripped off. So it just needs some fiberglass work. You want this Ings rear bumper? Hit me up on Instagram or in the comment section below. Now onto the goodies that we got for the GTR. Bang, Nissan Nismo. What? Lug nuts, yes sir. The lug nuts that we currently have on the car are complete dog water. I don't know what kind of lug nuts they are. They're all right, you know, they, they look decent with the wheels, but I don't know, I just I just can't trust them. I don't know why, I still hear the wheel like squeaking a little bit. I've tightened down the lug nuts a million times. It's just, to me, I just feel unsafe with them. So I did what anybody would do and have an excuse to buy some Nismo parts. So we got the Nismo lug nugs. We also got this from D with the purple R33 that y'all seen in the last video. I think he told me we need to plug this um, with some type of bolt or something if we can find that. We also got a Gretti, some type of inlet pipe or something like that that connects to this charge pipe right here. So it'll go like so. Um, but yeah, we got hooked up because on the car right now, it has like some... On the car right now, it has like some thrown together ARC, horrible welded together. And I'll show you guys that later too. It, it's just bad. I don't even think it's supposed to be fit. It looks like it's like an elbow for some random car part. But we also have here, Haltech Platinum Pro. This is what's going to be getting us them horsies and them flames. But we got a lot of other supporting mods to throw on before we could plug that in, unfortunately. This, I'm probably gonna install this when we do the valve cover gasket because I'm sure I'm gonna have to remove this anyways. And I don't wanna have to remove it twice. So this will probably come in a later video. But today, for sure, this, these, and we might address the Supra a little later. up the time lapse but uh here's a good opportunity for us to look at them uh they're kind of sticking out a lot um i don't know shit about lug nuts but i think these might be for extended studs or something because they got hella room yeah they're not torqued down or nothing but that's pretty much how they're gonna sit it's not gonna get too much tighter than that what do y'all think i just don't trust these these is just garbage like i don't i don't know they old and janky do they look dumb or am I tripping? Torqued them down to TYB spec, you know, as good as possible with the breaker bar right here. And uh, now it's on the ground, I think it looks sick. That looks dope right there. I ain't gonna lie, it was a little throwing me off a little bit with them poking out far, but they are for extended studs, I think. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe I'm just dumb, probably, that's, that's most likely. But it looks good though, it looks good. It's like a million degrees out here. It's the middle of winter. It's a million degrees. What the fuck is going on in this world?
One thing I forgot to tell you guys about, sorry if this video is all over the place. I really had nothing planned, but I had a few things to go in the cars and I want to document it for you. Um, but we also got a Koyo Rad for Skyla and I'm pretty excited. The only thing that I'm waiting on is, ooh. Only thing I'm waiting on is I'm gonna get the GK Tech fan because I heard that fan just generates a lot more cool air than the OEM um, fan. So we're gonna get the GK Tech fan uh the radiator the coil rad radiator right here then we'll go ahead and install that and then i have a whole fat mod list that i got to uh work a lot of overtime for to be able to get this car in order yeah uh yeah everything was going great until it wasn't now this is nobody's fault but my own but everybody has to learn somehow and i always choose to learn the hard way and uh you guys are wondering what i'm talking about you guys probably know something went horribly wrong i just got over a mental breakdown um so now i'm here telling you what happened and uh yeah Yep, let's go ahead and walk of shame. And let me show you. Exhibit A. Every single other lug nut on every other wheel was fine. Was perfect, was strong. Nothing seemed off, nothing seemed anything. I was able to tighten them with the key, no issues. But this one, for some reason, nothing felt off. Nothing felt different than any other ones. I go to tighten it with the breaker bar and I get about, I do, you know what I'm saying? I get about halfway, I don't even really tighten it. I do about one turn and it snaps. So, new studs incoming. I don't know if these are the OEM studs or not. I don't know how old they are. I don't know, but they obviously look old if they are OEM, they obviously need to be replaced at this point in time. It's 30, 30 plus years old. And uh, they're brittle and they're old, but that's that's just what comes with the territory of this car. It wouldn't be a TYB install video without something going wrong. So we got lucky and it was only one that snapped. But uh, yeah, the new studs will be ordered today and we'll be replacing all four wheel studs. I'm not going through this again. and. I also learned a cool, neat little trick today. Um, 12 by 1.25, that's a thread count. Didn't know a thread count existed till today. So uh, yeah, this car is likely not drivable. I'm gonna take it up and down the block uh, just to see how it feels and then put it back in the garage until the, the studs need to be replaced. This is the car I'm not taking no risk on and I'm not cheaping on any parts. This car gets the best parts. As you can see, I'm buying Nismo lug nuts. For what reason? None other than it's the best thing that I can get for this car. And uh, yeah, so I fucked up. And if this makes anybody cringe that I don't know how to work on anything, you got everybody's gotta learn somehow. I'm choosing to learn the hard way. You know what I'm saying? So if it makes you cringe because I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. It's it's gonna keep happening for sure. Oh boy, yo, it's a million degrees in this car right now. So, unfortunately, y'all know what happened. I just told y'all, but uh, we are going to take you for a little cruise down the block just to just to see. Uh, how just how bad we fucked up um, I'm gonna park her right now excuse me I'm gonna park her in the garage right now anyways um, but uh, I just want to see if I still hear that that wobble lug, lug nut sound you guys know that little like as you know as it's driving see if the lug nuts work you know obviously the one is obviously the one stud is broke but uh just see how bad we messed up.
braking. I think these lug nuts are honestly better. The car is probably fine to drive like up and down the street. But with four lug nuts, it's gonna be putting a lot of extra stress. It's gonna be putting extra stress because we're missing that fifth lug nut. And uh, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna, you know, risk it. Nothing, I'm not risking anything with this car. Uh, GTR back in it's unfortunate about what happened today but you know what can we do about it the studs have been ordered since then it's a little later in the day but let's talk about Susie I don't know how good y'all can see her but let's talk about her um, we got some new parts for her. anyways I read y'all comments I read y'all feedback if we should sell her and get an Evo you know save a little bit of money and we would put a little bit more money into the GTR and into the Evo because we have no car payment. But it looks like you guys and Mrs. TYB and all my homies and everybody, they all want me to keep the Supra. So it's looking like we're gonna keep Susie and I can just save up on the side, you know, on my own time and buy an Evo whenever. And if you guys support the channel by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button and continue to watch the videos, that'll also help us in the Evo journey. So. Evo isn't out of the picture, but it is on hold, you know what I'm saying? So, let's go ahead and open some new OEM parts. I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but I'm a big OEM fanboy. <laughs> OEM fanboy. Any Anything OEM, I want it. And my car never came with one of these, so we're gonna be putting one, we're gonna be putting it in there today. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, y'all can see it right here. It's the Supra trunk carpet and it just completes the look, y'all. Just makes it just makes the car that much more vibe. This is what it looks like. It all it always just didn't have a carpet in here. This looks like it might be important. So let's let's put that over there. Yep. So we'll go ahead and vacuum this out and then throw the carpet on there and I'll show you guys what it looks like. <sighs> Bang. There we go, looking good. Much needed, much needed. I'm working on getting the bumper back from Onk so we can put the stock bumper on. Again, we're selling that if you want it, let me know, hit me up on Instagram and uh, we'll make we'll make it work, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys get it. And uh, Suzy V3 will be popping out. I got some more OEM plus things and maybe some, maybe a little bit, maybe OEM plus plus, you know what I mean? So y'all will see, y'all will see what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. 